Welcome back friends, this is Shuman Bhattacharchi on behalf of Shamus Biology and this is from the series of how to crack CSI and NET and in the overview video I have talked about 6 different rules to crack CSI and NET and in this video I am going to talk about the first important rule of all and that is, uh, that, is uh, that you need to believe that it is possible right so you need to believe that uh, the CSI and NET is really really possible and you can crack it now you need some uh, planning before that not only reading books and preparing lessons will help you because this is a uh, national level examinations and many things are going on so you need to uh, think about uh, how to qualify that right and uh, I'm going to tell you a simple way a simple process of how can you do this now you need to believe on you uh, that you can do that and uh, first of all uh, what you need to do is that uh, you need to know uh, the, the different sections that CSI and NET questions are having now there are three sections three sections will be there and among those three sections what are so first of all is group A which is uh, with general aptitude and reasoning so it's general aptitude aptitude and reasoning will be there now this part of general aptitude and reasoning they ask you questions related to your IQ now there are different math questions will be asked like different small math problems uh, problems regarding train age and different types of problems geometry height and distance many different variety of problems will be asked number series problems will be there to check your ability uh, as a researcher or not right now the second part of it the second section of it is group B now group B I designate group B as a kind of mug up section because they ask questions direct questions in this group B so direct questions will be asked here right so that means a simple question like what is the name of uh, let's say from the biology they can ask you what kind of cell uh, is present in the uh, upper region of uh, the stomach which is helping in our digestion and they give, give you four, four examples and you need to answer the question or they can ask you what kind of uh, flag or, or they can ask you that extracellular flagella is seen on they give you four options and you need to take the answer so they will ask you kind of direct questions in group B now in group C in group C the third part or uh, the third part of this one this one is the most complicated one because at this part they will check your analyzing power analytical question will be asked right and all of the questions will carry four marks each now these analytical questions are kind of difficult to solve because you need need to develop an analyzing power on your own they will tell you a different scenario they will uh, they will give you a scenario scenario and then they will ask questions ask questions then you need to answer the questions depending upon the scenario for example if, if I tell you a simple question about that let's say uh, in a region uh, there are uh, 30 uh, paper moth uh, living uh, now after a kind of uh, industrial revolution now there are only uh, 20, uh, two paper moths are living and, uh, and and among actually among those 30 paper moths they are asking question that among 30 paper moths there are two black and uh, and say 28 white but after two, after 15 years of industrial revolution now the figure kind of changes and it changed in this way that there are 26 uh, black and only 4 white now what kind of natural selection this is uh, for, for this process so you need to find what kind of natural selection this is and they will give you 4, egg, four type 4 uh, what you can say options uh, options are uh, directed selection destabil stabilizing selection disruptive selection and they'll give you different uh, examples like so you need to find uh, what is this event you need to think about this process very carefully you need to analyze this process very carefully then you can tell the answer that yes this is going to be the answer so this is going to be analytical in group C right now in all the groups the question division is like group A the question division you need to answer 15 questions two for each so 30 marks and they will provide you 20 questions now in group B all the questions kind of direct we have talked about they will provide you they will provide you need to answer 35 questions each question mark is 2 you get 20, 70 and they will provide you 20 questions uh, for 50 questions there 
and at group C each question wore 4 marks and so and you need to answer only 25 questions so 25 into 4 it is 100 and they will provide you 75 questions that's right they are giving 75 questions and you need to write only 25 out, out of that and you can see that among these three groups most numbers are carried by group group C because it is carrying kind of 100 marks and compared with group A and group B along together carries 100 marks. Now another important thing that you need to pass group A otherwise they won't check your copy of group B and C. So you need to pass group A anyhow because you need to have a good IQ. If you are having moderate level of IQ and you solve one or two mathematical questions it is easy for you to crack very easy you don't need to bother about much for group A now group B for completing group B you need to have a kind of understanding you need to read a lot you need to read a lot of topics that are given there any questions can be there direct type of questions and it depends on your practice uh, of different questions how can you do this or not so slightly problematic there it's kind of difficult and group C is a difficult because group C you require analytical power so if you don't have analytical power you just mug up uh, questions you can't probably get through group C because it requires it will check your analysis power for your knowledge in biology for your basic concepts in biology but remember for all of this region of group B and C the questions are asked are using basic concepts for example here the example I provided you is using a basic concept of natural selection if you know what is natural selection and what are the different types of natural selection you you will you'll be able to answer this question pretty clearly right so these are the three sections and remind you negative marking is there and negative marking is kind of dangerous because you know uh, negative marking can us to most of your results and if you have more mistakes in group C it will get you very very much pain because it will be minus 5 for one question and it you will gain plus 4 for one right question so it's very very important uh, to go, go through these uh, different sections and you prepare yourselves according to the concepts now you need to believe you will do this you surely be do this so it's a good idea to practice on uh, each of this section independently in your house when you're practicing this first practice about group A or, or I, I must tell you that practice about group B and group C separately and group A along with together because practicing group A is kind of common to all of them so group A uh, is will be going on so just practice group A throughout the time along with that practice group B sometime and practice group C sometime now it depends on the topics that we are going to cover and many students have asked that what are the topics that uh, we are going to cover because the syllabus is pretty much huge pretty much everything that you learn in life science is under the syllabus of life science CSI and NET so it is kind of difficult but I'll be telling you what are the topics and what are the topics are important and you need to ma major focus on which topic and you can't uh, so I'll be telling about those topics uh, later videos so this is uh, the the whole structure of CSI and NET and you need to stick to the point that ex take one of this group and crack it once at a time so you, you if you won't get a NET in one go it's it's kind of fine because it's a tough exam you uh, probably can't go uh, get it in one go uh, but if you get in one go it's good but if you can't don't be deserted because try to get each of this group at a time so prepare yourself if you have less time prepare yourself only group A and go for a CSI and NET and go through this group A you are satisfied now and go for group then after that go for only practicing group B go for it for the second time you get it for group A and B then now C is remaining then finally you prepare C and then go for it and you probably crack it the third time so this is a way of third time approach for cracking CSI and NET there okay and another important thing that I am going to tell you is about how solving those questions how to solve those questions because remember I've told you previously that in my opinion it's best way to first go for group A and give 30 minutes to group A because you need to complete this whole exam in three hours so you devote 30 minutes to group A devote two hours to group C and devote another last 30 minutes to group B okay so this can vary to students to student if you think that group C is a kind of easier to you group B is difficult then get uh, give group B some more time because usually group B don't require that much of time because group B the questions are direct if you know the answers simply ticking on it won't take more than 30 to 40 minutes but it will require you to read the questions and learn what the question is telling you 
for group C. That's why you require most of the time in group C. That's why you need to devote most of the time to group C. So that's my opinion. Otherwise, you can vary it a little bit. That's 30 minutes. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, 1 hour 45 minutes. And here it's say 45 minutes at group B. So you can vary according to your own knowledge and own uh, kind of, uh, it's, it's a kind of personalized thing. Now, another thing I want to say before closing this lecture and that is, uh, how to solve those MCQ questions because MCQ questions are having four uh, four uh, options right so for A B C D four options now uh, I want you to play so let's let's stop here I'll be talking about that thing in the next video thank you